Werikwa points to transportation challenges, including the suggested travel dates for moving the people, their furniture and livestock of about 18,000. One of the key challenge was the issue of transportation. But we as government of Namibia indicated that there are five buses available that are made available through NDF, five trucks made available through uh, Defence Force as well and Ministry of Works. So as of when transport become an issue, they need to communicate same. But in terms of the nitty gritties as far as to where the Botswana government sits, I'm not aware. Another concern is that following the announcement that they will be relocated, many of the descendants have since surrendered their Botswana citizenship. Uh, the people that have already so far expressed their willingness to come have already denounced their citizenship. Uh, uh, and of course now they are given already citizenship of Namibia and as a result uh, them continuing to be in Botswana is putting them in a corner as far as social, uh, uh, social safety nets services are concerned. So it is our wish to actually have them this side as they have expressed uh, uh, so that we will be able to carry on with their daily lives and, yeah, and integrate socioeconomically. In July this year, Werikwa revealed 118 citizenships granted to individuals, including 51 dependents, with 32 that have not denounced their Botswana status. An interministerial committee has been set up to ensure water infrastructure, electric fencing, tents and sufficient food supplies. Also on the cards are expected upgrades to the community health centre and local schools. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.